five, 20 past five on Thursday, the 26th of October. So, yeah, today's gonna be a very busy day for me. I'm just gonna quickly chat and then crack on all with what I need to do because I haven't got much time. So, yesterday, obviously, I made a video with to do with my wrist. I did make a little day video because I enjoyed it. I didn't upload it, cause, uh, but I'm going to upload it today. Because I think I'm just going to keep making those little videos because I enjoy making them. And it's a good little... Keeps me... I don't know. Keeps my days a little bit spicy. Um, so today, like, like every day, is I'm going to get in the ice bath. It's dark outside, so I might not record it, but I'm going to get in the ice bath. kg on the easy bar for some tricep extensions i've lifted heavier weight but i haven't lifted heavier this is the heaviest i've lifted since my wrist operation for skull crushes because this exercise along with bar curls put the, puts the biggest strain on my strain on my wrists i'm not working out with any um wrist straps because i'm, I'm trying to build strength of my forearm since since my since my wrist operation I'm trying to build up all my forearm wrist strength and my grip strength so I don't want any uh, straps so I'm gonna do 40 and the last time I did anything with curling or tricep extensions that was anywhere near 40 kg was before my wrist wrist injury so I've got this on video so it falls in my head and my wrist pops at least I've got that, but let's get it. Yes, mate. Right, that was six. That was six, and that was a hard. That was effort. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't done that exercise with that heavy weight in like nine months, ten months, so close to a year. I'm gonna stop recording my workouts now because I'm procrastinating. I'm gonna drop the weight now because that's too heavy. But let's get going. I'm just gonna keep working on this because we're getting somewhere. Right, I've set up the camera because I've just come back from dropping Natty off at work and I've looked at my schedule and I've got a client in about an hour and a half. And today's gonna be, we're off to Birmingham and there I'm gonna do a gym workout and get my stretches in and, and everything. So I thought I'll just talk a little bit about well, just random stuff, but more importantly, I don't know why I'm why I'm really making these videos. Um, by the way, I'm not going to cook anything too complicated because my diet is a fast, and I've got time to be in rubbish. I'm pretty much eating red meat. Right, and some proteins and some fruit um, and rice. But I was thinking, why, why, why am I making these videos every day? And I think it's, it's, it's the accountability. Recently, I'm going to go quite deep. Re recently, I turned 
30, 30 years old, and I have like a stark realization of how quickly life flies by. Yeah, about how how quickly life flies by, and I'm quite regimented with stuff I want to do, and I normally write it down in my. I have a notepad. I write down. Everything I do in the day, all my exercises, it's not like a journal, but it kind of is like a journal. The only problem with that is I find myself, the only person accountable for me is me. And I write it down in the book, but we're always having these like internal battles of, you know, what is right and what is wrong, and am I doing everything I want to do, and... and and me writing it down in my journal, my book, it's fine, but I found with videos, I'm holding myself more to a higher level of accountability because it's kind of like editing that video. And it's almost like it's a different me. When you're looking back at, when I'm looking back at my video editing it, I'm like, have I done everything I need to do? And then I'm kind of posting it out there. And I'm, I'm putting it out into the world. And I don't care if anyone watches it or if... I don't care what happens to those videos. But it's like... I know I've got, it's like the, the, the commitment to making that video to myself is almost higher than the commitment of writing it down to the, in the journal. And the journal is a higher commitment than just me doing it. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I have a higher commitment. If that even makes sense. It might not make sense to everybody. And it might not make sense to anyone. But it makes sense to me. I'm just rambling to myself. I've set the camera while I'm cooking food books. I just generally don't have enough time to... I don't know. I'm just like saying my inner, inner thoughts here. It might be a bit too personal to stick up on, on YouTube, but I might just have to do it. But a plan, the plan for the rest of the day. Actually, forget about the plan for the rest of the rest of the day. Actually, no. Let's talk about the plan. So, so the plan is. Sorry about the smoke. The, the plan is to fast till about two o'clock after my clients are done. Drive down to Birmingham. Get a heavy workout in and do my stretches and then drive back and I probably won't get back till about 1 a.m. which is a long long day. Obviously on Tuesday I worked a, like a 9 to 8 shift. Sorry, my, my phone was ringing. I completely lost track of what I was I was talking about. Also, I'm having a coffee. Today, I've decided, because I'm, I'm a little bit iffy with coffee, like I try to avoid coffee and sometimes I drink coffee. Today, I've decided it's gonna be my last coffee for a while, because I wanna cut it out. I know people say there's benefits to coffee, there's definitely, there's definitely some benefits to caffeine, but drinking coffee a lot, I don't actually think there's much of a benefit. And I, I don't like to cut that out. So today I'm kind of, this is my last, I'm only having coffee today and then I'm cutting it out. But yeah. So we're rambling, we're rambling and cooking. Recently, I've been reading a lot of books written by philosophers. And they really intrigued me because, for example, let me give you an example. I'm, I'm, I've, I've read a book by Marcus Aurelius called Meditations. If you haven't read it, I would highly recommend reading it. But it's, it's a book where he, he writes down all his like thoughts and what he's learned from life. And what he's learned from other people. It's like a, it's a book basically, 
he's writing away that he feels is like the best way to live life almost or all, all, all the lessons he's learned. And I, I was thinking earlier this morning that these videos are almost like my own little psychological meditations. And I look back at my previous videos and my, my, I put in like quick little snippets. And they're almost not artificial, but they sound kind of like bang, 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 that I don't really have time to, to make real meaning of it. And um, I watch these videos, my editing them is, is, what I get from the videos is the editing process. I get some slight satisfaction from it and enjoyment. I'm just frying up some beef. Um, but these videos, I'm, I'm going to start putting up a tripod like I am now and, and, and talk a little bit, because you're constantly thinking, your mind is constantly running, you're kind of like constantly at battle with your, with your mind. And I think I'm going to continue doing this, these videos of my own personal journey or whatever I'm doing, but also it's almost like my own meditations, my own self-reflection and that accountability and I'm, I'm, I'm all, almost creating, I don't know how to say it, I'm basically just recording my own, um, um, my own philosophy. I'm basically, I'm just recording me trying to figure out what life is. And it's really difficult talking to a camera. Well, it's not difficult talking to a camera because I'm really just talking to myself right now, but it's, it's kind of getting out of the headspace. I don't know, it's kind of breaking down those barriers and, and, and it's a different form of recording other than writing my journal. And at first when I was writing my journal, it was really awkward and really hard to get into the habit. But then it quickly became very easy and this is a bit awkward, but it becomes easier with time. And I think it's a great tool for me to use to, you know, encourage me now that I'm 30 to make the most out of my time, to record what I'm doing, but also to add that accountability, but also to allow me to express myself in another form other than just going through life. When you have a camera and you're recording yourself, it's almost like you're writing in a journal, or it's like you're talking to someone. It's very, uh, you start thinking about stuff you wouldn't necessarily think about. Well, that was a bit, a bit mad, wasn't it? But diet-wise, yeah, I'm frying up beef, rice. This will be for my lunch for tomorrow. I'm gonna to do my clients. Then after I do my clients, I'm gonna eat. I'll drive to Birmingham. I don't know how much recording I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna record me working out in the gym because that's just silly. I don't care about that. Um, and I'm gonna do some stretching in the gym, but I'll do some updates later on about how, how my day is going and hopefully I won't be recording myself at one in the morning. And if I am awake at one in the morning, I will I will definitely record it. I mean, you're just chilling in the kitchen. Uh, I'm gonna stop recording now, because I crap on with my day. But, yeah. I'm gonna do more, I'm gonna talk I'm, I'm going to make, I'm going to be a little bit freer with what I record. These videos, the last five days I've been making these videos have been super fun and it's really nice and it gives you a bit more accountability but I'm going to be a little bit more open I think and talk to myself a little bit more and not be so self-conscious and, and just pop that out there. And I'm gonna create my own online journal. 
Oh, I don't even know what I'm getting for. Oh, we're going too complicated. See you later. Right, so we're in Birmingham. Uh, let me turn a light on. I'm going to turn a... There we go. I think you can see me. Um, so in Birmingham, it's I ate something at night. So after I finished cooking, I did I did all my clients. Um, literally jumped straight in the car, picked up my uh, girlfriend's family, dropped them off at the arena in Birmingham for for S clubs, and then I've just spent the last two hours. I broke fast at about one o'clock. And then I just spent the last two hours in the gym group. And they had um, a uh, hamstring uh, table. And they had a quad machine. And I just sat on that for like an hour and a half. No one else wanted it. They're, all the leg machines were free. So I was just spamming the leg machines. And uh, then did some stretches. Just had a shower, which was pretty... I don't go to gyms and like the showers are rank. It's just a bit. Ugh. I had a shower, so I've got about two, two, three hours to kill. So I have some lunch that I made, but I think I'm going to treat myself to like a Thai. So I'm going to quickly get on Google, find a Thai restaurant, edit this video that I'm making for today. I might even stick it online if it's not too late. And. Yeah, I'm just going to eat and then I'm going to read my book and eat some bananas and watch some YouTube and relax. And today, today has been a good, a good successful, a good successful day. Tomorrow I've got work at nine till about six. I'm going to try to get up early, but I really think I'm going to get back at about one. This thing finishes at two. It's about an hour and 40 minutes to get back to my girlfriend's mum's house. Then we've got to drop off her sister. And then from there, it's about 40 minutes. So I think we'll be back at one, two in the morning. So I might have to sacrifice a morning ice bath and turn that into an evening ice bath. But that's all, all irrelevant. And that's my night. I'm just going to wait now till uh, till they're done at S Club. Just had a pizza and a beer. Change of, change of plan. I didn't want to tie. I love Birmingham. Right, I'm off. That's me, cut, edit, done. Bang on. Bang on 1am. Oh. Right, let's, let's get some sleep for tomorrow.